Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Home Theater Dude. Got a brand new episode for you today. As you can see in front of me, I got a brand new box. You know what that means? It's another unboxing video. So don't run away too quickly. This is a, actually a really cool unboxing. Got this from Projector People. This is the Optima UHD 65. So this is a really cool um, type of opportunity that I got because I've been trying to get a projector from them for a little while to, you know, to try to test a couple out because I wasn't sure if I was going to make the, uh, the, the, the jump to projector or not. But I was really dead set on the Optima and I ended up going with an Epson 5040UB. So the cool thing is, is now that I have both, I can do some comparisons. If you guys know I like doing videos like that, give my, uh, my honest opinions on these things and uh, just, just see how, how they actually perform. So cool thing with this one, I'm gonna go ahead and pair this one a lot with the SI screen that I just got from Screen Innovations. It's the Solo Pro Slate 1.2. So I'm gonna see what this one and that one look like with that screen uh, and then whenever I do my comparison in here I'll be able to use this uh, the screen um, for comparisons with the projectors so I mean there's a lot of stuff coming so stay tuned guys I'm gonna go ahead and get into this unboxing right now okay right after this <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and get in the unboxing got a little trusty right here so let's get this going so I'm not sure if a lot of you guys know this, but uh, I was a former Marine, so I'm uh, licensed to actually use this, this bad boy right here. So I got this projector. I'm super excited about actually trying this one out because like I was talking about earlier, the Optima looks excellent on paper, right? Has really, really, really great specs. This is a 3000 lumen projector. Yeah, because I gotta look up the specs before I go any further on this one. But this thing's packaged in here really well, so I think there's not much else to it except just to pull it all out. So first and foremost, what we got here is we have a little... Cool, so they give you an HDMI connector, or HDMI cable, which is awesome. Your power cable, standard. I think this is about four feet, five feet. So normal size. Sadly, I can't mount this, so I won't be able to take mine off and then mount this in the same position because um, they just advised me not to do it. I think since uh, this is one of their demo units, they don't want to scratch it or anything. Whoa, this thing is actually really light. So let's go ahead and get this off of here. Get this down. Cool. Yeah, I, really want, I want to be really gentle with this thing. All right, so what else we got in the box? We got a remote. Remote, batteries, quick startup, disc, which I don't know anyone that has a CD-ROM anymore. All my laptops and, and whatnot, they don't even have a CD-ROM drive. Got some batteries in there as well. A really succinct remote. And do not return this product. Okay. So let's look at the unit itself. This is some really heavy duty foam that they got. So obviously, whenever you get something shipped out to you, especially something that's expensive, you know, you want it to be well protected. Get out of here, goofball. So I know I've been doing a lot of unboxing videos lately, so I, I'm sorry about that, but I'll get into the demos, you know, really soon. So I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. It's been crazy with the AC going out and, you know, it's cool, so let's see what we got here. Oh, <laughs> so this is what we got. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the camera and bring it over here. But this thing is, is pretty sweet. Check this thing out. I'm gonna pop this thing out. There we go. All right, so let's check this thing out. So what do you get in the box? This is a decently reflective type of surface. It's got a plastic feel to it. In front, 
Got your cooling vent. Got your actual lens itself. So this thing is a little smaller than the one I already have, but I mean, this is super cool. I'm really excited about getting this one going to actually see the performance on it. Got vents all around. As you guys know, projectors get a little hot, so. Back here you have all the normal stuff. Input cable goes here. And then we have, you know, the standard connections, ethernet, if you want to use a computer connection, we have that right here. And then uh, actually this one's got, the computer connection is going to be over here. And then we have HDMI 1 and 2, and then it looks like only one of them is HDCP 2.2. So if you want to use that for uh, actual 4K content, then that's probably the way to do it. So this is cool because I don't think that mine has this, that, the, the Epson. It has an audio in and out, but to be honest, I run everything through the, the receiver itself before it even gets to the projector, so that's not really a problem for me. You also have a, looks like an optical out, and then you have a trigger so that, say if you want to turn on your projector, and then if your projector gets turned on, it'll turn on everything else. So if you have your AVR going, it'll do that as well. USB, I'm guessing that's for updates and whatnot. And that's about it. Let's just look at the top here. See what they got in here. So it looks like this is the functionality for the lens. We have the zoom, the lens shift right here. We got those capabilities to actually make the changes. So if you guys want to adjust the throw ratio or the throw setting or whatever you want to do, you can do that right there. And since this thing is typically mounted upside down, this will be you know available to you to access since it will be, be hanging down. But that's it. So look at this thing. Completely unboxed, very simple video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a link down in the description. If you guys want to check out this Optima UHD 60 in person, go ahead and buy it from projector people. I'll leave a link down below. And then, like I said uh, earlier on the different video, if you guys want to get one of those SI screens, they sell those as well. I'll leave a link for that one. So let's go ahead and get this thing set up. I'm going to go ahead in this video here. I know it got a little long, but I'm going to go ahead in this video. We'll talk about the, the settings, the functionality, and we'll do a couple demos with this little bad boy in a minute, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. Catch y'all next time.